Hi, my name's Danny from PC Paramedics and today I'll be showing you some tricks and tips to do with computers. Okay, the tool of choice which I'm going to use today is one called Malware Bytes Anti-Malware. This is a free tool which you can download from the internet which will look for any pieces of spyware, malware and simple viruses and try and remove those from your system. Many of today's viruses come in the form of uh, Microsoft identity um, theft looking devices which uh, come up and say that you actually have viruses um, and they were asking you to pay either in dollars or pounds um, for the product in order to get rid of these viruses. Uh, they are a fictitious program um, in which if you do um, subscribe and pay them money they will get obviously your money and your credit card details. Uh, if you find that you do have some of these and you can't either access the internet due to them um, or they are popping up and asking you to pay, um, if you download or run this malware program then you should be able to remove those from your system. So I've gone to the anti-malware um, website which you can type into Google Malware Bytes and it will come up with this website and I'm going to download the free version today. So I'm going to click on download and then download the program. Once the program is downloaded, it will need to be installed onto your system. Then you will need to run the update and then run a full system scan, which will generally take between half hour and one and a half hours to complete. It will tell you and remind you of any viruses or spywares in which it has picked up and will give you the option to either leave or remove from your system. This is the installation process. Select your language and click OK. Next, accept the licensing agreement. Next, next and then install. Once the program is installed it will automatically do a download which is an update to the latest version so that it can protect you against the very latest viruses and spyware attempts. Once the program is updated, it will automatically open up and give you the option of running a quick scan or a full system scan, which I will show you now. Here, I'm going to perform the full system scan. To do this, I'll tick into the perform full system scan box and then scan underneath. It will then give you the option of picking all of your drives inside your computer. The main one will, will be a C drive, which is automatically tipped. Next, click scan, and that will go ahead and scan all the files in your system for any virus objects. This again will take between a half hour and one and a half hours, and once finished, will bring up the results uh, to remove your viruses. As you can see already, it has found 55 suspicious files.